Hey guys, it's Dan Gage back with a new harmonica video. It's Labor Day weekend 2009. It's hot as hell in San Diego, but I had a few minutes and I've been thinking about this video. As I always do, I think about them and then um, when I get a chance, I put them together. So this video is going to be multi-faceted, multi-purpose, but the main thing I want you to stick around for is what is known in the harmonica world as the riff. Okay, it's the opening, it's the opening riff from the song Juke. If there was a classic harmonica tune, if you said, what's the the tune ever? Um, you know, when they make the, the MTV video best ever, it's always Thriller. It's been Thriller for 20 years, and, and Juke is that song in the harmonica world. So I wanted to take, take apart the first riff and tell you a little story about that. But first, I want to take care of a couple other things. First of all, <clears throat> I went over a million views, and I want to thank you guys for watching. It's really cool. I mean, you know, famous people get a million views in about an hour, but just just little old me sitting here sitting here making these stupid videos for you guys. Uh, it's really cool that there's a million total views. So thank you for that. Secondly, I wanted to represent for Brad Harrison and his harmonicas. Um, I got my first custom. I may make a video on it. Actually, I got two. They're fantastic. He, really, all the videos is one by Ronnie. There's one, one or two by Jason talking about Brad Harrison's harmonicas. They're really, really cool. So I wanted to put this on to represent. Third, I wanted to tell you guys about my good friend Brian Williams from Virginia, who's starting a new website called VirtualWoodshed.com. Now, a lot of you guys play guitar as well. Brian's business model is to, to, to do like we're doing with these YouTubes, um, but higher quality um, for, for, and they're not all free, I'll give you. He's giving a lot of stuff for free on YouTube, um, a lot of really good, cool hints, but there's, there's a lot more uh, going on if you, if you subscribe or if you, if you buy the lessons from him. So it's guitar now, it's going to expand out I think in the future. I may be working with him, we'll see how it goes. It's hard being across the country and it's, it's, he's a guitar guy and it's driven towards guitar. But check out virtualwoodshed.com um, or virtualwoodshed on, on YouTube. I'll, I'll put the link up, right, you know, do the thing with the... Okay, so <clears throat> let's, talk about, let's talk about Juke. Okay, what is this tune? Well, if you don't know it, go out and get it. Okay, buy it. Make sure that whoever is getting the money gets some of that money, right? But Juke is, is, we won't have enough time to really tell you about it, but let's, let's take a, just a quick listen to it, okay? guys call yourself harmonica players then you should have already been studying that. I know you new guys maybe don't know and that's my part of my job is to to gear it towards the new guys. So I'm going to tell you a little story about this that opening riff, okay? There's a thing um this is a good time to talk about this as well. There's a there's an internet message form called Harp L, H A R P L, okay? That is a communication forum, a, a web email discussion between harmonicas both new and old. Some of the greatest players alive are on there regularly, um, either reading it or posting. There's a lot of help. A lot, it's, a lot of, it's a great resource for the harmonica player. Back when I was sort of learning in college, um, 1996, 7, wherever, somewhere around that time, and I don't know exactly, there was this discussion of that particular riff. And that discussion went on forever, okay? It's to the point now where it's a dirty topic. Le riff is a dirty word. They call it le riff, okay? I don't know why, but that's the riff, okay? Okay, now the discussion point was, is the last two notes, are the last two notes a 6-3 blow octave, or is it a 6-9 blow octave? You hear sort of an overtone thing there, and it's not my point to discuss that, but I just want to raise it, because you can go online, and you can get the tab for Le Riff. A guy named Glenn Weiser, I don't know if it's Weiser or Weiser, um, you just type in Juke um, Harmonica Tab, and you'll find it. It's this um, Celtic music, he's got a page from his book up, um, and it shows you exactly how to do it. Um, and then it's corrected here. So the riff. Let's listen to it one more time because this is um, this is this will get you going, man. This is this is a classic right here. So let's let's listen to it just a little bit more. That one. Okay. 
make another point. Um, um, on the Virtual Woods set, they just put up a really cool video talking about how to play guitar behind Chicago Blues, and it really sort of coincides pretty well with the whole juke thing, what, they're, what, what these guys with the two guitars were doing. So you guitar players, definitely check that out. Okay, so the riff. I used to think it started on two draw. It actually starts on three blow. As I was getting ready for this video, I sort of independently discovered it and then realized that Glenn had, had, had corrected his to make it three blow. So it starts on three blow. Which is the same note as two draw, it just sounds different. And in this case, it's an easier transition. Okay, Glenn tells us that it's a three draw bent a whole step. I always thought it was a half step, but it goes by so quick that, you know, as you're learning, you know, you, you can, this is one of those things where you'll study it and you'll study it and you'll study it if you want to learn um, juke. And even though I don't play juke live, I've played it in the car or played it, you know, sitting here practicing thousands of times. It's just one of those classic, just, there's so many little techniques and subtleties to it that it's just fantastic. So, so you want to hit, so we've talked about, this is an A harp, by the way, guys. It's in, the song's in E, it's an A harp. Sorry for you guys that only have the C harp, but um, that's, that's the song, man. It's a, it's a song in E, played cross second position on an A harp. So three blow. So we're going to hit the three draw bent a whole step. And then you're gonna let that three out. Now the timing of that is a little tricky. Cause you're almost, you're going to the four draw like really quick. Well, let's break it down a little bit more. You're gonna hit that three blow. I hit it tongue blocked as a bit of a slap. Okay. Well, let's break it. It's kind of a, it's kind of a very quick But it, but it, but it slurs through it, right? Okay. So what are the notes? Three blow. Three draw. Bend a whole step. To four. To letting it, the letting the bend out, but then moving quickly to four draw. Five. Blow. Right. That's five blow, right? To six blow, or six three blow, or six nine blow if you really want to try to jump. So it sounds like that's a hard one. So, again, there's, there's a discussion of which one it is. I say practice doing both because it's a great exercise to jump to it. So there's, there's the, I mean, that's, that's all there is to it. But that's, that's, that's the basics of that. That's how he gets into that. That's how he starts it. So, and it repeats. So let's listen to it one more time. You know how I like to make my videos long. does, the things that Willa Walter did, that's one of the things that made him the greatest. So work on, just just listen to that tune over and over. If you're, if you're obsessed like I was, you will have all these years. I, sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. There's little subtleties that you can't hear, and that's, that's really the secret to, to, to the greatness of guys like that. But um, that's my little take on Lil Riff, Juke, the Little Walter opening head. To, to the tune juke, um, thank you guys again for watching. I'm really proud of, of a million total views. Actually, it's almost another 100,000 over that. I haven't had time to get here. Check out Brad Harrison, American Made Harmonicas, fantastic things if you can afford them. You beginners, I maybe, 
it's a little early, but you guys that are kind of into it, maybe want to try something really fantastic out, that's really cool. And um, go to virtualwoodshed.com, okay? <laughs> that's hard. <laughs> Okay, thank you guys for watching. Um, have a well, have a good time. Thanks, and uh, we'll see you as soon as I get another idea. <laughs>